The Committee for Public Accounts has launched its report on the management of personal injury claims. Chair of the Public Accounts Committee, Paul Maskey, along with Deputy Chair Roy Beggs, explains why the committee chose to carry out the report and what lessons can be learned. Our committee has taken up this report because there is a great deal of, of interest from the community and obviously for taxpayers as well. And I think our committee has looked at every single department at this stage, so we're making no exceptions to any department if there's an issue there which is involved, and then we will certainly look at it. And I think that's a very important step what we as a committee will do and have always done because we do believe that when we are asking questions to the departments, every single um, department within the executive has answers to be given, and that's certainly what we are doing. What we have seen is that, and we welcome this, is that the, the amount of claims has reduced from 1,700 down to 800. So that is a welcome step, but the cost of claims has risen over the years, and what we have seen is that it's over 8,000 pounds now per claim, the average per claim, which is more than most other places on these islands, which compensation is given out. And half of that goes out in legal costs as well. So somewhere in the region of four million pounds spent per year on compensation. So it's a great deal of money. That's another reason why we as a committee have looked at this report, because there's four million pounds being spent per year on compensation claims. And we think that's very high. And we also think <coughs> the legal cost that is very high as well. So that's the question that we pose to the department. I think there's a need to review the method of um, determining compensation levels. Compensation levels in Northern Ireland are twice those in England and Wales. Uh, now we do have to remember that when money is spent in compensation, it is not available to fix the problem, to fix actual um, footpaths or potholes. And uh, I haven't really seen any justification as to why the compensation levels in Northern Ireland are twice that in England and Wales. What we have found is that the legal profession uh, are largely those who are responsible for setting compensation levels and of course they themselves have a sense of interest in having higher compensation levels because that they themselves are paid related to the compensation that their clients receive. In addition, uh, legal fees uh, uh, it, it seems to be a closed system uh, only with the legal profession involved. So there's a need to open that out to public scrutiny because this is public money that's being spent and it must be at an appropriate level.